Right now, severe cold and freezing temperatures continue, but for how long? Austin is tracking the latest in our morning forecast, and Madison Teachers Union responds after a decision to return students back into the classroom and phases. This is News 3 Now This Morning. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, February 13th. I'm Taylor Lazenby, and we'll get straight to it this morning with our weather with meteorologist Austin Kupnitsky. Austin, how are you this morning? Oh, you know, I was cold whenever I was outside earlier this morning, so it's cold and it's now snowy as well. So we got some things to watch out for here on this Saturday. I wish I had better news for you, but right now we're actually looking at some of that snowfall that's making its way through the area. Most of it is light to moderate snow, but that's enough to cause road concern issues, especially with how cold it is. The snow falls and it just has no issue actually sticking right to the ground. So we'll have a look outside of Madison. You can see that snow actually falling here. It looks like our temperatures are down to five degrees below zero. That is not even including the actual wind speeds and eventually the wind chills. You take a look at our wind chills. It's 20 below right here in Madison. Watertown at about 15 below. Waukesha 18 below. Not as bad around Janesville. 12 degrees below zero. By the time we reach tomorrow morning at this time, it's going to feel like it's in between around 25 and even 40 degrees below zero. These wind chills are in effect through noon today, but we are going to see another round issued later on tonight, and we're also likely going to see wind chills chill warnings on top of that. Now looking ahead for the rest of our day, five below currently right now. We're at about one below at 10 a.m. And then by this afternoon, barely breaking above zero degrees. That snowfall still going to remain on the lighter side of things, but it is expected to continue throughout these morning hours and the early afternoon. That should end up wrapping up here by the time we do end up reaching around four to six p.m. Now right now on our first warn traffic, you can see we do have some slowdowns. Make sure you take it slow on those roadways because again, we're starting to see that snow really stick down to the ground. All right, Austin, thank you so much. Great information. Well, as the stretch of bitter cold could possibly lead into worsening situations for domestic violence here in Wisconsin, our Adam Duxter shares why advocates in Dane County are stressing that resources are always available. The temperature outside DACE, the Domestic Abuse Intervention Services Group in Madison, is once again dropping below zero. Inside, most of our staff work in this part of the building. Executive Director Shannon Berry says the weather can lead to bigger issues than some might realize. We're in the middle of a very brutal winter, um, and that's creating some additional stresses, so it's really increasing isolation for families. In the isolation, paired with the stresses created by the coronavirus and uncertain economic times, can lead to many not seeking help when they need it. We're in this, you know, really um, kind of dark period of the year where people are really stuck at home. Barry says the most common time for those experiencing abuse to seek help is the summer. Our case management office. But now there's a wait list at days and because of the cold, other shelters are seeing themselves stretched thin. We're in this pressure cooker right now um, and victims are really, really feeling it. At Unidos, advocates say the winter plus the pandemic can make outreach even harder. And when the winter comes and people are stuck at home and there's nothing happening. There's this mode of isolation that people don't seek assistance, maybe because they're trapped with the perpetrator, maybe because they don't have the means to get out and, and go to a, a safe place. Tonight, both advocates want people in southern Wisconsin to know no matter what, they're never alone. And if they do need help, resources are there. You don't have to sleep in, in outside in the street in a zero or a, a 20 below weather. Um, that's not a, an option. That's not a choice for you or your children. So please call. In Madison, Adam Duxter, News 3 Now. Well, we have a resources list, including the links to 24-7 help to both Diaz and Undos on our website. That's at channel3000.com. And the city of Madison plans on closing a homeless encampment at McPike Park at the end of the month. They said that this park was never approved as a homeless encampment and that there are places designated for this purpose. Most people who are camping out there have already moved out, but will st still need to have their belongings moved out by the end of the month. Any items not removed by February 28th will be placed in storage for 45 days. And more than 900,000 doses of the vaccine have now been administered right here in Wisconsin. That includes more than 33,000 that were given just in the past 24 hours. And when it comes to both doses, over 213,000 people, or about 3.7% of the state's population, has received them.
And there are new charts of the Department of Health Services website showing who the vaccine is going to in our state. Those are some especially important data on race and our ethnicity. DHS graph looks at the proportion of people vaccinated by race, making it look like the minorities aren't too far behind in receiving the vaccine. 10% of white population has been vaccinated compared to the 3% of the African American community and the 3% of Latinos. But when you take a look at the number of vaccines given to those groups, the disparities are actually much larger. Wisconsin has vaccinated more than 40 times as many white residents as black residents and almost 45 times more white residents than Latino residents. We have a lot of work to do in Wisconsin to achieve equitable vaccine distribution and uptake and even more work to do to achieve equitable health outcomes beyond vaccination. It is work we are committed to doing, and this is a start. Well, DHS says it's showing in this data to be transparent. In an effort to close these gaps, the state is intentionally prioritizing vaccine orders for health departments and clinics that serve communities of color. And the CDC released guidelines for reopening schools, which includes five key immigration st strategies for returning to in-person schools safely. They are the universal and correct wearing of masks, physical distancing, washing of hands, cleaning facilities, and improving ventilation. Also doing contact tracing, isolation, and quarantine. They come as several local schools, including MMSD, are planning to return to in-person learning. And Madison Teachers Union is sending an open letter to MMSD's superintendent and board following a decision to return students to classroom and phases. Now the letter thanks Jenkins and other district leaders for considering science and the voices of the underserved communities in the building and re-entry plan, but raises several concerns like whether the decision is motivated by finances. MMSD announced its plan the same day the Joint Finance Committee voted to prioritize federal aid to have schools to return Turn to in-person instruction. And the letter also shows concern about teachers being able to receive the vaccine. DHS guidelines have educators in the next group of people eligible to get vaccinated starting around March 1st. Kindergartners are expected to return to the classroom on March 9th, but elementary school employees are in MMSD's third group to receive the shot after special education and other staff. You can read the full letter that's on our website at channel3000.com. And a Wisconsin nonprofit is receiving over a thousand calls a day for people who need help keeping their power and heat on this winter. The Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund serves people who are elderly, disabled, and working families. Provide a hand up to avoid a life-threatening energy-related emergency during these harsh winter months. Along with the people the organization normally serves, they're seeing an unprecedented increase in people struggling financially during the pandemic. Between the escalating costs, the unprecedented increase in need because of uh, the amounting unemployment or people being underemployed, again, people who have never been behind in their utility bill or their rent ever find themselves now, uh, you know, having really to choose between eating or heating. You can help the Wisconsin Keep Warm Cool Fund identify people in need of assistance who are struggling to come forward and ask for help. If there's a friend, family member, or neighbor you know about, or even if you need assistance, you can call them at their 1-800 number or visit kwwf.org. And a Madison plumbing company tells us that they've been busy with calls for burst pipes during these bitterly cold days. As the weather gets even colder this weekend, officials with H.J. Pertzborn Plumbing tell us they're prepared. They have an after hours plumber and people on call throughout the weekend if there are multiple people dealing with burst pipes. But there are some things you can do to prevent this. It's important to make sure that the heat is getting to these areas that you think that there's a possible freeze up in. You know, as simple as opening the cupboard doors or the cabinets to allow heat from inside your home to get in that area, um, to turn on the faucets, to just get a little steady stream of water flowing to keep the water going through the pipes. Now she says running a small stream of water will be much cheaper than dealing with a burst pipe and all the other issues it can cause. Well, the time right now is 8.08. Coming up tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Are you prepared? Well, we're taking a live look over the Capitol this morning. Austin is tracking your morning forecast that's just ahead.
Download the Channel 3000 First Warm Weather app today. Habitat Dane County provides long-term stability through affordable home ownership, creating the spaces where learning grows, the places to rest, the spots to gather, the areas to play safely. Strengthen our community. Support Habitat Dane County. Is your credit score getting in the way of the things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit offer fast and flexible lending. Borrow up to $10,000 and choose repayment terms that work for you. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. Do you worry about going to the dentist? Well, relax. The Carefree Dental Card is now available in your area. Call the number on your screen and we'll send your actual card at no cost today. With the Carefree Dental Card, you go to the dentist whenever you need and you instantly pay a lot less. The Carefree Dental Card is just $15.95 a month. So call now and make going to the dentist carefree. Call 1-800-451-3571 to receive your free Carefree Dental Card information kit. Shop the President's Day sale at Grand Appliance for the area's guaranteed lowest prices on top appliances. Like this Whirlpool top load washer for just $548, this Frigidaire self cleaning gas range for just $698, or this Samsung 28 cubic foot French door refrigerator for just $1398. Shop your local Grand Appliance location or online at grandappliance.com for these great deals and more. Grand Appliance, you make it home, we make it grand. Dear Winter, I'm coming. My squad of 15 vehicles with all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive is ready to take you on. Safety's the name of my game, so you better bundle up, Toyota. President's Day deals are on. Right now, lease a new 2021 Sienna for $309 a month. Hurry in today. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Associated Physicians is excited to announce that it's been 75 years since we opened our doors. Lots has changed, but what makes us special hasn't. We've been so grateful for our amazing patients over the years as we've watched their families grow. And we love being part of the Madison community and giving back through supporting families. We've had 75 years of caring, helping, and listening. Visit us online at apmadison.com. Associated Physicians, devoted physicians, trusted care. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Well, a look at your first war in weather. We have alert days in effect here today. We have another one tomorrow, and it finally expires after Monday wraps up. So we have three more to go, and then we're actually looking at a pretty nice end to our 7 to 10 day forecast. I'll have a look at that a little bit. But right now, wind chills well below zero. That's going to be the case here for quite some time. Light snow also falling for today. So we're kind of seeing two different factors that are actually leading to this alert day for today. Now you can notice here, not the biggest system system moving through, but more than enough to cause plentiful issues here locally. Now again, we are expecting around one to two inches by the time the day is done, and that's more than enough with how cold these temperatures are to really cause some slick spots and even snow covered roads here for today. Now visibility, whenever you look at this and we are seeing current snow, the lower the visibility number is, the higher precipitation, uh, higher amounts of precipitation you're actually going to see. So the snowfall rates increase while these numbers drop. So right around one mile in Madison, it does look like we're seeing a decent amount of snow actually falling. Now temperatures five below currently right here in Madison. Janesville, one of our warmer spots at zero degrees. Wisconsin Dells on the flip side of things, eight degrees below zero. Then you throw in these wind speeds. This is what's really causing quite a few of those issues. This is why we have wind chill advisories in effect for this morning. It feels like it's just 20 degrees outside right here in the Madison area. But notice how down south where we weren't seeing as cold of temperatures. Janesville does feel like it's still about 12 below. Wisconsin Dells 21 degrees below zero. Now again, we do have that alert day. We do have wind chill advisories in effect until noon later on today. It feels like it's 15 to 25 below tomorrow morning. It's going to be even worse than that. We're going to see these wind chills dropping dramatically 34 
below. We're looking between 30 and 40 below by the time we reach tomorrow morning. Very similar whenever we approach Monday morning, but then we finally start to see those warmer temperatures moving through, especially by Tuesday afternoon. Future track does show that a lot of these uh, snow showers are going to exit the area by the time we reach around 4 to 6 p.m. And then we're actually going to clear the skies out right behind it. What that does is it leaves our actual blanket of clouds overhead. No longer we're going to see that blanket of clouds. That means we are just going to cool things right back down. We're going to see double digits below zero by the time we reach tomorrow. Again, one to two inches expected here by the end of today, especially a little bit more out east. And it does look like now we got to talk about some positive news. Eight to 14 day temperature outlook. Look at this warmer than average. That is a possibility. So you take a jump to that seven to 10 day forecast and wow, we're even talking 30s by the time we reach next weekend so we have some time to actually get up there but 29 by next Saturday 31 by next Sunday it's been quite some time since we've seen those upper 20s and low 30s but I don't know about you Taylor I will love to see those 30s return to the forecast oh yeah yeah I'm, it's gonna be bittersweet though but I know the cold is coming back but it's just in time for Valentine's Day to cuddle up that's exactly right yeah tomorrow it's gonna be a cold start to the day all right well thank you so much Austin well the US Census Bureau is announcing yes Yet another delay on releasing population numbers. Now the delay will impact the redrawing of new districts for state legislatures and the House of Representatives, which means every 10, which happens every 10 years. Now the usual deadline is set for March 31st. Last month, the agency pushed it back to July 31st. It now says the deadline is September 30th. And the IRS has now started accepting tax returns. It may seem a little bit early, but it's actually later than usual. Typically, you can file the second half of January, though most people don't really have the necessary documents by then. The IRS had to delay things this year because it decided res dedicated resources to the second round of economic relief payments late last year. Now, the deadline to file is the same as always on April 15th. You can get a six-month extension if you ask before then. But if you owe taxes, they are due in April, no matter what. And Spotify says employees can now work from home permanently. Now, the company announced a new initiative called Work From Anywhere. They say their workers will be able to choose whether to do remote work mostly or work in their office. They also can choose where they prefer to work from anywhere. Now, Spotify plans to rework its office spaces to reflect the policy change. And the once iconic private jet airplane brand Learjet is ending its production. The move includes a 1600 job cuts. Learjet started back in 1962 and used to be associated with the rich and famous. Now, the story goes that Elvis Presley borrowed one from Frank Sinatra to elope in Las Vegas in the days before the king got his own jets. Now, the parent company says the market is shifting. And a friendly reminder for anyone who needs to know that tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Online coupon site Retail Me Not has conducted a survey and found fewer people are planning to buy their significant other's gift this year. Those that are plan to spend more money than usual than last year. If you still haven't made that purchase, you're not alone. The survey also shows most people don't buy anything more than a week before the holiday. And last but not least, J.J. Wyatt is officially a free agent. After 10 seasons in Houston, the former Badger and the franchise have mutually agreed to part ways. During his decade in Texas, Wyatt took home a three Defense Player of the Year awards and was a fifth-time All-Pro. The time right now is 8:17. When we come back, we may be getting hammered by the pandemic, but this streaming service still remains a star. And there's no shortage of films and movies to check out this weekend. And our Will Loper shares the three things to watch. That's ahead on News 3 Now this Saturday morning. Rest comfortably with brands you can trust at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Create a unique and stylish room with made-in-the-USA products from companies like Smith Brothers of Burn. Select from a wide variety of sofas at a great price. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Martin, I'm at work. Oh, perfect. I have a question. Is it true that single care can beat the price of your prescription right at the register? Yes, Martin. My friend Al is not so convinced. Just have him check the single care price. It only takes 10 seconds on the app. Good point. Stand by. <laughs> Sorry about that. Looks like it's cheaper with single care. Well, that's a great price. Yes, Martin? Al saved on his copay in 10 seconds. That is so great. I gotta go. I think she hung up on me. 
Check the single care price today. Winning Motor Trend Truck of the Year three times in a row, that had never been done before. Then again, neither had a 12-inch touchscreen or 1,000 pound-feet of torque, or being the only pickup on Car and Driver's 10 best list. Never been done before. It's just kind of our thing. During the Ram President's Day event, get 0% financing for 72 months, plus $3,750 total bonus cash on the 2021 Ram 1500. We drive everywhere to help our son reach his dream of becoming an elite swimmer. So we enrolled in the Know Your Drive program with American Family Insurance. It gives us discounts for safe driving and other benefits like emergency roadside service, which comes in handy no matter where his dreams take him. With Know Your Drive, save up to 20% and get closer to your dreams. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. lower than low prices then get more ways to save at pick and save where you can find personalized coupons weekly deals and rewards like fuel points all for prices that are lower than low on food that's fresher than fresh pick and save fresh for everyone Every year, thousands of Wisconsin residents make the difficult choice between eating or heating their home. So please join News 3 now and support a week of warmth, benefiting the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund. 90 cents of every dollar donated is used to help those in crisis. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the need is now greater than ever. Give the gift of warmth. For more information, visit kwwf.org. Week of Warmth, sponsored by Viridian Homes. Experience handcrafted and hand-finished furniture by genuine Amish craftsmen at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Featuring hardwood made in the USA home furnishings by Simply Amish and other great brands you can trust. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Now, welcome back. We have another alert day in effect for today. This one's actually a double sided alert day as we're going to see snowfall and wind chills well below zero. Now light snow today. We are expecting slick roads. We're already seeing those slick roads and even some snow covered roadways. And again, our wind chills are very cold yet again this morning, but tomorrow we're looking at down to as low as 40 below zero. So that's really going to cause some issues and cool things down for us here. High resolution radar is showing that lighter snowfall making its way through, especially down around Monroe, Janesville. They are seeing some of those moderate snow showers currently making their way through. And again, these wind chill advisories in effect until noon for today. That's because we are seeing temperatures well below zero. But again, not only are the temperatures below zero, we're actually seeing wind chills between around 15 and 25 below. That's why that is in effect here until noon today. But I'll have a look at your seven day forecast in just a bit. All right, Austin, don't kill me because I know you probably haven't eaten yet, but Popeye's <laughs> is out with the Cajun flounder sandwich that's starting today. It is just in time for Lent. The fried fish filet is served on a bun like its poultry counterpart. Now, Popeye's is offering the sandwich insurance for its launch day today for only, get this, 15 cents within the Chains app. If the deep sea edition isn't your thing, of course, you can get their chicken sandwich as a replacement instead. And there's clearly no shortage of films and shows streaming right now. Our Will Loper shares a few of the best in this weekend's Three Things to Watch. Deputy Chairman Fred Hampton of the Illinois Black Panther Party. Newly streaming on HBO Max this week is the film Judas and the Black Messiah. You're looking at 18 months for the stolen car. Five years for impersonating a federal officer. Or you can go home. What do you want? Get close to Hampton. Daniel Kaluuya gives a towering performance as Black Panther chairman Fred Hampton, who is Illinois chapters infiltrated by FBI informant William O'Neill, played by Lakeith Stanfield. Imagine what we could accomplish together. We can heal this whole city. You ain't tell me it was gonna be like this. These ain't no terrorists. We got a rat, man. Does anybody else know about me? No one knows your identity. Are you sure? We educate, we nurture, we feed, and we lobby. 
Judas and the Black Messiah is streaming on HBO Max now. Anyway, there's people. There's power. I want to thank Barb and Star for hosting tonight's Talking Club and for making their hot dog soup. I like the salt. I like the hot dog. It's not as runny as it usually is. New to rent on video on demand is the film Just Barb and Star Go to Vista Del Mar. Look, my new phone case. <laughs> Take it home and glue it to our landline. Kristen Wiig and Annie Momolo play best friends who lose their jobs and decide to venture out of their hometown for the first time to visit Florida. I'm Barb, and this is Star. Roll number again, please, sir. 611. 611? Oh, my... Barb. Oh, my gosh, she's 611. 611? We're in 124. Barb and Star Go to Vista Del Mar is available to rent for $19.99 on VOD platforms now. What are you doing? Oh, I was just playing with this lamp. Oh. I'm glad you and Peter are both going to Stanford. You are not cut out for long distance. I haven't gotten in yet. Finally, just in time for Valentine's Day is the third and final installment, the film To All the Boys, Always and Forever, streaming on Netflix. I could really see myself living there, you know? We both know what 3,000 miles would do to us. This is a little dramatic, even for you. Lana Condor plays high school senior Laura Jean, who has to decide whether she wants to stay near her boyfriend, Peter, after graduation, or if she should attend a university thousands of miles away. Will I look back in 20 years and wonder if I made the wrong choice? The Boys Always and Forever is streaming on Netflix now. Happy watching. Those are the three things you need to watch. And this is Will Loper for News 3 Now this morning. Well, Disney may be getting hammered by the pandemic, but its streaming service, Disney Plus, remains a star. Now, the company said during its first quarter earnings on Thursday, Disney's revenue was down 22% from last year. Now, the company also reported profits down 99% from last year, yet Disney Plus is vital to the health of the company right now. The company's streaming service is still growing with nearly 95 million subscribers, up from 86 million just in December. And Kraft is saying goodbye to the iconic Planters brand. The company is selling Planters to Hormel, the maker of Spam and Skippy peanut butter. Kraft is expected to sell off Planters for a whopping $3.3 billion. Planters is famous for its Mr. Peanut products. Hormel hopes the deal will expand its snack offerings at a time when people are eating at home more. Some of the Planters products include mixed nuts, trail mix, corn nuts, cheese balls, and cheese curls. Well, coming up next, we'll keep you updated on the latest numbers from health officials regarding the coronavirus as it spreads across the country and right here in our state. Plus, Governor Evers receives the vaccine and encourages others to do the same. We'll be right back. Thanks for calling 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Do you make junk disappear? Yes, ma'am. When? Now. <laughs> junk disappear. All you have to do is point. Culligan Water not only sells the best water softeners, but also rents them. Big box plumbers and online sellers don't. With renting, you never pay for repairs or extended warranties. And Culligan softeners are backed by the world's largest dealer network. Contact Culligan, the local water experts. Shop the President's Day sale at Grand Appliance for up to $850 in extra savings on LG. The brand ranked number one in consumer satisfaction two years in a row. Get outstanding deals like this 4.5 cubic foot front load washer for just $7.48 or this 22 cubic foot French door refrigerator for just $12.48. Shop your local Grand Showroom or GrandAppliance.com for these deals and more. Grand Appliance, experts since 1930. Is your credit score getting in the way of things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit help you borrow up to $10,000. So check your eligibility on NetCredit.com today without affecting your credit score. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. In the race for Green County Judge, only one candidate has the experience to keep us safe. Jane Booker. As an attorney, Jane Booker is the only candidate with deep courtroom experience handling over 2,300 cases. Jane Booker is the only candidate to help start a drug court, saving lives and reducing crime. And Jane Booker is the only candidate endorsed by hundreds of community leaders, judges and attorneys. As your judge, I'm prepared to make tough decisions, 
treat people fairly, and keep Green County safe and strong. A great night's sleep starts on a new beauty rest from Steinhoffels. Right now, you can save up to $800 on beauty rest black adjustable base sets, plus get $200 in Steinhoffels cash. Beauty rest queen mattresses start at only $17.99. Beauty rest black combines the latest in sleep technology and luxury to give you the best night's sleep possible. And with Steinhoffels special 60 month financing and free delivery, it's even more affordable. Steinhoffels is your new mattress destination. Fusion has it all. Modern styling, spacious interior, plenty of power. Even help to inspire confidence. Ford Copilot 360. NHTSA five-star overall crash rating. Five-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty. So while life is full of compromises, Fusion isn't one of them. Get Flex by on 2020 Fusion with 0% APR for 66 months. And with President's Day Cash, get a total 4,000 cash back. Thanks for calling 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Do you make junk disappear? Yes, ma'am. When? Now. Ooh, take it all. When you want junk to disappear, all you have to do is point. Right now, when Brewers fans will be allowed back inside the stadium to watch the team's spring training. This is News 3 Now This Morning. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, February 13th. I'm Taylor Lazenby, and let's get straight to it with meteorologist Austin Kepnitsky. Austin, it's a chilly one out there, and we're seeing lots of snow coming down right now. Oh, man, and you just said spring training. That's I know. just reminding me of warmer days ahead. I know, I oh. know. But hey, we do have warmer days in the forecast, though, so I'm looking forward to that. Right now on your high resolution radar, it's a cold morning, and we have some snow. It's not going to be a very pretty day outside here for today. Generally, Southern Wisconsin right now seeing most of that snow, but we still are seeing some of the lighter snowfall and a few flurries here up in northern communities. So taking a closer look right now again, we're not going to see extremely heavy snowfall rates, but what we are going to see is more than enough to cause plentiful road concern issues, especially with our visibility now dropping down to around one, one and a half, two miles of visibility. Mineral Point right now at about five, but notice Platteville, 10 miles of visibility. That's as good as it gets right there. So what that really means is they're not seeing seeing that snow actually falling currently. But again, that still is expected to change. But right now, our temperature is also very cold. We're looking at Waukesha at two below. Janesville, one of our warmest communities at zero. Wisconsin Dells at eight below. Prairie du Chien right now, five below as well. So we really are cooling things down. And then you throw on those lighter winds of about five to 10 miles per hour. And it feels like it's 20 below in Madison, also in Prairie du Chien. And it also looks like decor is at about 22 degrees below zero. That has prompted those wind chill advisories. They will end up expanding firing at noon for today, but then by the time we do reach tomorrow, we're going to see another round of advisories, but even more likely we're probably going to see some wind chill warnings because tomorrow morning it's going to feel like it's actually even as low as 40 below zero. Now you look at our current conditions. It's five below here in Madison. Humidity percentage that continues to rise. Whenever I first got in at about 3 a.m. this morning, it ended up uh, it was about 50%. So we've really seen that rise for the rest of your day here today. We're barely going to jump above that zero mark and we're still expecting that lighter snowfall one to two inches by the end of today. All right, Austin, thank you so much. Well, as more coronavirus vaccinations roll out and into the arms of the eligible Americans, Dr. Anthony Fauci is putting together a timeline of when the rest of the U.S. could potentially get the shot. If you look at the projection, I would imagine by the time we get to April, that will be what I would call for, you know, for better wording, open season, namely virtually everybody and anybody in any category could start to get vaccinated. More cases of the highly contagious virus variants are being confirmed in the U.S. Health officials say the current vaccine may sl be slightly less effective against those variants, but do work against them. Now, Governor Tony Evers received his first dose of the vaccine on Friday at a clinic not too far from the state capitol. The governor is 69, so he is eligible to get vaccinated. Governor Evers, who is a cancer survivor, had said that he would not jump the line before his doctor said it was available to him to, him to be an eligible member of the public. Now, France's health authority is recommending that anyone who has already had the COVID-19 only needs one dose of the vaccine. They say people who recover from COVID already have some immunity. France is the first country to issue this advice. 
And the Milwaukee Brewers will be allowing fans inside the stadium to watch the team's spring training games in Arizona starting next month. Now, the team announced its full spring training schedule on Friday, including plans to allow fans to watch games in person. Tickets will go on sale starting next Thursday on the team's website. The Brewers' first home game is scheduled for March 2nd. And a Mount Horeb man accused of brutally killing a Navy veteran along the side of the road last year is now considered fit to stand trial. A Dane County judge declared 22-year-old Riley Berg competent during a hearing on Friday morning. Berg was arrested last February on homicide charges, but initially was found not fit to stand trial and was moved to a mental health facility. Berg is accused of killing 26-year-old Nicholas Day, who was a Navy veteran. Law enforcement called the attack extremely brutal and very calculated. Detectives say Day was out for a jog in the town of Blue Mond when he was randomly shot. And after about three hours, former President Trump's lawyers wrapped up their impeachment defense, arguing his speech on January 6 was protected by free speech and did not set off the deadly rampage. Natalie Brand is on Capitol Hill. In arguments that lasted just about three hours, Mr. Trump's impeachment defense team tried to distance the former president from the rioters who attacked the Capitol on January 6. If you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore. No human being seriously believes that the use of such metaphorical terminology is incitement to political violence. The defense also played video montages of Democratic lawmakers in an effort to argue they've also used heated political rhetoric. Our job is to fight. Who has led us in this fight is to fight for this. Some GOP senators praised the defense's performance on Friday, and the numbers appear to be on the former president's side. A conviction would take at least 17 Senate Republicans voting with Democrats, an outcome considered unlikely. I think the uh, president's lawyers blew the House manager case out of the water. But some Republicans still have questions about the timeline of the violence that unfolded last month. So the president knew that people had invaded. They were approaching the Senate chamber, and the Secret Service felt like the vice president was in danger. About 30 minutes later, he tweeted out another tweet negatively towards the vice president. During questioning, Mr. Trump's lawyers would not get into timeline specifics, but said the former president was not aware the former vice president was in danger. However, CBS News has reported a senator told Mr. Trump by phone Mike Pence had been evacuated from the Senate floor. Mr. Trump's lawyers added that what the former president did during the riot was not relevant to the charge of inciting an insurrection. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Well, the Senate unanimously passed a bill to award the Congressional Medal of Honor to Capitol Police Officer Eugene Goodman for his rogue actions during the Capitol insurrection. The trial continues Saturday with closing remarks, possibly a final vote. Now coming up, new research shows many adults are developing a potentially life-threatening allergy, plus a social media challenge that's best to do in the freezing cold. That story is next on News 3 Now this Saturday morning. Maintenance fee, ATM fee. Can I hide in your fort? Sure, but the fort fee is 10 cookies. Psst. Need a place to hide from fees? With a BMO Harris Smart Advantage account, you can get cash with nearly as many fee-free ATMs in the U.S. as the three largest banks combined. And no monthly maintenance fee. Huh, do you hear that? No monthly maintenance fee. Fort fees are subject to the governing bodies of the fort. She did not learn that from me. When a bank helps you make real financial progress, that's the BMO effect. And right now, get a $200 bonus when you open a new BMO Harris Smart Advantage account. This is one of the biggest furniture events of the year. The President's Sale at Slumberland. Come on. Slumberland Furniture has the best prices around on all sorts of furniture. And right now at our President's Sale, everything is an additional 25% off our already low price. This is totally you. Oh. Yeah, this is the winner. Well, hello Slumberland. Get your look for less at the huge President's Sale at Slumberland. If your credit card debt is out of control, if you're in over your head in monthly payments, there's a secret the credit card companies don't want you to know. If you have more than $10,000 in credit card debt, you have the right to let us settle that debt for a fraction of what you owe. That's bad news for the credit card companies, but it's great news for you. We're Credit Associates, and we're offering you free information on how to completely resolve your credit card debt with a monthly payment you can afford. To see how much you can save, call now. 
1-800-905-1069. Don't declare bankruptcy. Don't consolidate. Give us 10 minutes and we could save you thousands. After all, we depend on your success and offer a guarantee so there's no risk to call. Credit Associates. Live better, debt free. Find out how easy it is by calling now. For the secret the credit card companies don't want you to know, call Credit Associates now and see how much money you could save for free. Call 1-800-905-1069. Incomparable design makes it beautiful. State-of-the-art technology makes it brilliant. The Lexus NX. With pedestrian detection, lane departure alert, and Amazon Alexa compatibility standard. Experience the crossover in its most visionary form. Lease the 2021 NX300 all-wheel drive for $359 a month for 36 months. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. Two people in Madison within 30 seconds of him arriving were dead. A fatal shooting that left lingering wounds in our city. It appears clear the shooting was not justified. Now, after six years, find out why the case of Tony Robinson's death could be reopened Monday at 10. Every day, News 3 Now investigates, taking action to discover and report the facts to make sure your voice is heard. That's why News 3 Now investigates. And welcome back. It's a cold morning and we're also seeing some snowfall. By the end of today, we're looking at around one to two inches of snowfall, but that is going to cause plentiful issues on roadways. Wind chills, the three things you need to know. Well, wind chills are going to be one of them and they're going to stay well below zero. Light snow today. Again, we're not expecting much. Finishing up today with around one to two inches for most of us, but that is again going to lead to a lot of slick road conditions. Coldest wind chills that we're going to see here. That looks to be later on tonight and also also again Sunday night where we're going to dip down to 40 below zero for the wind chills at times. So extremely cold. That's going to bring frostbite to exposed skin in as little as five to 10 minutes. Right now this morning we're at about five below in Madison, but then you throw in those wind speeds of around five to 10 miles per hour. Watoma seen around eight. So is Fond du Lac and Watertown as well. Janesville currently at about six uh, miles per hour for those wind speeds, but it's still more than enough to bring down those wind chills. It feels like it's 20 below right here in Madison. Mineral Point at around 19 below. Monroe, 18 below zero is what it feels like. So again, we do have these wind chill advisories in effect until noon today. And then for tomorrow, it's going to get even colder in the morning hours. All right, Austin, that's right. Bundle up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, WPS Health Solutions is spreading the love this weekend by delivering treats and healthy snacks for ICU employees. Our crew saw the gift bag deliveries yesterday and SSM Health St. Mary's, but thank yous were also distributed at UW Health and Unity Point Health Meritor. People are super appreciative because, you know, they tell us it's they are overworked. They're they're so busy and, you know, we're hoping to get a couple doctors or nurses down here if possible. But it's it's a busy day today. You know, it's a busy day every day. So they were just so appreciative. Tears and eyes. WPS has staff at hospitals in other states as well. So they had their goodie bags shipped to them. And take a look at this. This new social media crave is people are making the most of those freezing temperatures, Austin was saying. Those dreamy looking arches of ice droplets are what happens when hot water meets freezing air. And they're taking the internet by storm in Russia. The hashtag freezing cold challenge invites people to try the technique, film themselves, and post the results online with that hashtag. When temperatures drop low enough, hot water thrown into the air instantly freezes and produces a dazzling cloud of ice which floats momentarily and some parts of Russia this month have experienced temperatures below negative 30 degrees. And peanut allergies are typically considered a problem for children, but now new research shows many adults are developing the potential life-threatening allergy. Nancy Chen has more. Peanut butter was Shandy Chernow's go-to snack until she was 32 years old. I opened the jar of peanut butter and Instantly, my lungs changed. I, I all of a sudden wasn't able to breathe. She became allergic wow. to peanuts as an adult. A new study from Northwestern Medicine shows at least 4.5 million adults suffer from peanut allergies, with one in six developing this serious allergy after turning 18. This was actually really surprising for us that 
adults are developing more uh, food allergies. Study author Dr. Ruchi Gupta says it could have to do with microorganisms that make up the microbiome of the gut, as well as infections that alter the immune system and hormonal changes. The why is the biggest question uh, that all of us researchers uh, across the world are asking. We do not have a clear answer. How do we better understand this? How do we help adults with food allergy? The study finds only 60% of adults who develop a peanut allergy are properly diagnosed. And patients who develop the allergy when they're older are also less likely to carry an EpiPen. It's really, really important to, uh, to know what to do in case of an allergic reaction and, you know, be able to know how to manage it. Shandy wants other allergic adults to know they're not alone. It's consuming. Um, and it can be really intimidating, particularly at the beginning. I would like people to know that it's not a choice. We have to live with this, and, and it really is a life-threatening condition. She's also allergic to tree nuts, shellfish, and pork, all allergies that came on when she was an adult. Nancy Chen, CBS News, New York. Well, coming up, we meet the youngest female crossword puzzle creator, and you're taking a live look over the Capitol. Austin is tracking our weekend forecast. That's next on News 3 Now this Saturday morning. Look Who's 3 is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin. If you've been injured in a truck crash, call Gruber Law Offices. Trucking law can be extremely complicated. There are specific rules and regulations that apply, and we know what it takes to win. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. This is the new Ergo Smart Base from Tempur-Pedic, and it responds to snoring automatically. So no more nudging your partner or opting for the couch. Because the Temper Ergo Smart Base is our first system that detects snoring and automatically adjusts to help reduce it. Your best sleep. All night, every night. And right now, save up to $500 on Temper Pedic adjustable mattress sets. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right Temper Pedic. Ready to Juvederm it? Correct age-related volume loss in cheeks with Juvederm Voluma XC. Add fullness to lips with Juvederm Ultra XC. And smooth moderate to severe lines around the nose and mouth with Juvederm XC. Tell your doctor if you have a history of scarring or are taking medicines that decrease the body's immune response or that can prolong bleeding. Common side effects include injection site redness, swelling, pain, tenderness, firmness, lumps, bumps, bruising, discoloration, or itching. As with all fillers, there is a rare risk of unintentional injection into a blood vessel, which can cause vision abnormalities, blindness, stroke, temporary scabs, or scarring. Juvederm it. Talk to your doctor about the Juvederm collection of fillers. You thought you were the only ones who'd go someplace just because you liked the name of the town. The only ones who didn't just want to see the world, but needed to explore every corner of it. You thought you were the only ones until you discovered others just like you. Jeep Cherokee, there's only one. Right now, get 0% financing for 84 months or 4,750 total cash allowance on select 2021 Jeep Cherokee models. Hurry to the Jeep President's Day event today. Serving the people of Wisconsin for over 30 years. Call us today for a free consultation. Gruber Law Offices, proud partner of your Milwaukee Bucks. One call, that's all. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. All right, and welcome back. Cold and snowy. We've said this here for quite some time, and that trend is just going to continue yet again for today. In fact, we have another alert day in effect, not only through today, not only through tomorrow, but through even Monday, most of which will be for the very cold wind chills, but also we are looking at some of that light snowfall here for today. And even though this is going to wrap up later on this afternoon and evening, we're still likely going to see a lot of that sticking to these roadways. So that's going to be our main concern here for this Saturday. Now our high resolution 
radar again taking a closer peek. We are seeing generally light to moderate snow showers. We're not really expecting the heavier snow showers for today, so most of us are going to end today with just around one to two inches, and it does look like again that's going to be more than enough to cause plentiful road concerns. Now you can take a look at our visibility. This is another good indication of where where we're actually seeing the snow falling and how heavy it's actually coming down. Lower the number on this visibility map. That means you're generally seeing some of those heavier snow showers. So where we're seeing just around one in Monroe and also one and a quarter in Lone Rock. Those are indications that we are seeing some slightly heavier snow showers in those communities. Now our temperatures five below in Madison, two below in Watertown as well. We got three below in Juneau, so we really are cooling things down. Eight below in both Wisconsin Dells and Verrockville right now. We are very, very chilly. But now at overall our wind speeds, they are between five and ten, so we have seen stronger wind speeds, but this is more than enough to really bring down those wind chills, especially down towards Dubuque at around 12 miles per hour right now. So the stronger those wind speeds, you're going to really see that dramatic drop in wind chills. That's why down in Dubuque, they're at about 25 degrees below zero. A lot of these other communities between around 15 and 25 below, and that is enough in the criteria to issue wind chill advisories. This will expire at around noon here for today, where again, it feels like it's about 15 to 25 below. And then here's a look at what we're expecting tomorrow. You thought today was cold? Just wait until tomorrow morning. We're looking at between around 30 and 40 below zero. Much of the same for Monday morning and at temperatures this cold, especially the wind chills between 30 and 40 below. That means you could get frostbite and exposed skin in as little as five to 10 minutes. Now our future track is going to show this clearing out of our area by the time we reach around four to 6 p.m. here today, and that's also going to bring the cloud cover with it. So that's going to really bring down those temperatures. Overall, we're going to see just around one to two inches of snowfall here by the end of today. But again, that's more than enough to really keep that layer of snow on the roadways. The extended outlook is showing a warm up. 7 to 10 day forecast looking pretty good after we get through these next few days. By the time we reach next Thursday, we're likely going to see the 20s returning to the forecast, but it doesn't end there. We have some 30s up and coming here by the time we reach next Sunday and Monday. I know it's a long ways away, but I think we can do it. I think we can get there, Taylor. I think so. We're almost <laughs> there. Fingers crossed till next weekend. Oh, almost we there. It. I'm loving it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Austin. Well, time for a clue. 14 letters. The youngest female crossword puzzle creator for the New York Times. She just made her debut for Black History Month. CBS News has the answers. Soleil St. Cyr has been solving crossword puzzles for years, but it took a pandemic for her to learn how to make them. How did you feel when you saw your name next to Will Short? That was probably the coolest part, honestly. I was shocked. It was kind of surreal. The Rookie is part of a growing number of young black influencers who are changing the lexicon of the world's most renowned crossword puzzle with a younger, more hip vibe and a nod to pop culture and current events. To be able to make myself and black history a part of American culture is something that I find very important. Soleil plans to keep making puzzles as she studies science in college, and we predict she'll be an A-plus student. Vladimir Dutit, CBS News, New York. Well, stick with News 3 all weekend long. Amanda will have the day's top stories coming up tonight at 6 and at 10. But first, a teen shares his passion for art during Black History Month. We'll be back in just a moment. Rest comfortably with brands you can trust at Wanakee Furniture ETC. Create a unique and stylish room with made-in-the-USA products from companies like Smith Brothers of Burn. Select from a wide variety of sofas at a great price. Bring quality home at Wanakee Furniture ETC. Winning Motor Trend Truck of the Year three times in a row, that had never been done before. Then again, neither had a 12-inch touchscreen or a thousand pound-feet of torque, or being the only pickup on Car and Driver's 10 Best List never been done before. It's just kind of our thing. During the Ram President's Day event, get 0% financing for 72 months, plus $3,750 total bonus cash on the 2021 Ram 1500. Sir Jenian's 91-year history means you pay $91 for installation no matter how many rooms you carpet. Get carpet and pad, your furniture moved, and your old carpet recycled. Our competitors can't match it. Ask about 18-month financing. Local, sustainable Sir Jenian's. At U.S. Cellular, we believe everyone deserves 5G. So we're building our powerful 5G network for the millions of Americans who live outside of New York and L.A., like teachers in Madison. 
and small business owners in Rockford. That's why we've included 5G on all plans, no extra charge for everyone. Whether you're working or playing, all U.S. cellular plans include 5G, no extra charge. Get the new Samsung Galaxy S21 5G free with no hidden requirements. U.S. Cellular. The ups and downs of frequent mood swings can take you to deep, depressive lows or give you unusually high energy, even when depressed. Overwhelmed by bipolar 1? Ask about Freylar. Some medicines only treat the lows or highs. Freylar effectively treats depression, acute manic, and mixed episodes of bipolar 1 in adults. Full spectrum relief for all bipolar 1 symptoms with just one pill once a day. Elderly patients with dementia-related psychosis have an increased risk of death or stroke. Call your doctor about unusual changes in behavior or suicidal thoughts. Antidepressants can increase these in children and young adults. Report fever, stiff muscles, or confusion, which may mean a life-threatening reaction, or uncontrollable muscle movements, which may be permanent. Side effects may not appear for several weeks. High cholesterol and weight gain, high blood sugar, which can lead to coma or death, may occur. Movement dysfunction, sleepiness, and stomach issues are common side effects. When Bipolar 1 overwhelms, Vralar helps smooth the ups and downs. Experience handcrafted and hand-finished furniture by genuine Amish craftsmen at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Featuring hardwood made in the USA home furnishings by Simply Amish and other great brands you can trust. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. News 3 Now, your vaccine information headquarters. Finally this morning, a teen art sensation is sharing his work in New York City to celebrate Black History Month. Let's take a look. I first met Tyler Gordon in 2019. He was just 13 years old, and his incredible artwork was going viral. Celebrities from Janet Jackson to J-Lo, A-Rod, and Kevin Durant are among his fans. He's had no formal art training and painted his first portrait at 10 years old. But his strength is just as impressive as his artwork. Tyler was born deaf and couldn't speak until he was five. At six, he had surgery that allowed him to hear in one ear. But after the operation, he began to stutter. So sometimes at school, I get bullish, like, blah, 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 and I come home, I hardly all that anger into a canvas. And you make a beautiful picture. Yes. Fast forward to three months ago, when Tyler decided to paint then-Vice President-elect Kamala Harris near the Bay Bridge in San Francisco, where he's from. When Mrs. Harris saw the video on social media, she called Tyler. Hi! I'm calling to speak with the artist known as Ty. <laughs> People you'll never meet are going to be touched by the work you do. Tell <laughs> Thank me how you. How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing fine now that you're called. I caught up with Tyler this week in Tribeca to check out his outdoor art exhibition called The Icon Collection to celebrate Black History Month. Kobe Bryant and the LeBron. Yeah. So this was on the cover of Time Magazine? Yes. Tyler was commissioned to paint NBA legend LeBron James for the Time Magazine 2020 Athlete of the Year cover. Tyler's mother, Nicole, says she is most proud that her son is so humble, kind-hearted, and a role model. I think it's a dream come true for a lot of people, not only for me, not only for him, um, to see that there are still African-American kids that, that want to make a difference. Tyler says he has a simple dream. My dream is just to inspire other people to use their talents to just, just change the world. We'll be seeing lots of Tyler in the future. He has a book coming out, a cartoon, and his own clothing line. In Tribeca, Cindy Shu, CBS2 News. All right, Austin, a quick look of that weather. Oh, man, and we have cold conditions and more snow. Now, the snow is going to be clearing out later on in the afternoon and evening hours, still looking at around one to two inches for most of us by the end of today. But once the snow ends, we're going to peel back the clouds as well and watch what happens to these temperatures just dropping and dropping double digits below zero by tomorrow morning.